In previous sessions, we looked at creating vector graphics in Flash. Flash also handles bitmap graphics. Bitmap graphics are not created in Flash. Rather, bitmap graphics are imported to Flash. The best place for us to start is to look at flattened bitmap graphics that are used on web pages. On the left here is our example that we'll complete for this exercise, and on the right is an example that we'll do on a future exercise. Both contain the same house bitmap graphic. And the one for the on the right, we have the car, the bus, and the house. The house is a GIF bitmap graphic. The car is a JPEG bitmap graphic, and the bus is a ping, PNG, bitmap graphic. These are flattened bitmap graphics. And what we mean by flattened bitmap graphics is they contain no layers and are likely created in a program such as Fireworks or Photoshop or imported with a digital camera or a scanner. The road and the background are vector graphics. We also can import vector graphics, but in this case they were created inside of Flash. Okay, let's get started. We'll close these two demos that are running and we'll open up a brand new Flash document and we will save the document into our folder and I'll just call it practice now to import a bitmap graphic we go to the menu choice file and then import and we have a choice of two stage or two library in either case it will go to the library the key thing to remember about the import to stage it will go to the current selected keyframe on the current timeline. So we're going to do library. In this exercise we're just going to work on uh, GIF files that stands for graphic interchange format first introduced by the commercial online service CompuServe in 1987. This window down here at the bottom has ways of sorting out the various types of assets that you import. We can actually see the various things that this version of Flash can import. There's several different kinds of graphic formats, but if you have a file folder full of assets and you're trying to sort them out, you can either try to sort them by the particular type or even groups such as image formats and sound formats. We only have one here. We'll choose it. It's the house GIF file and we'll choose open. First we want to note that there's our first time we're seeing a, another asset in our library other than flash assets and it has its own symbol for graphic assets as this picture of the tree. These have their own properties. We can preview them in the little preview panel and you can double click the icon or select the properties icon at the bottom of this panel to open up the properties. And we get a properties window that is particular to the type of graphic that you have or the type of imported asset that you have. You'll notice that we have some buttons that uh, are on this panel and, and some of these are common to other panels that will open for various types of assets. The update button, this allows you to re-import the graphic image without having to change it in the various locations you might have used it in your movie. So this is very handy if you have to go back and make some editing choices inside of your graphics tool. The import option is, is to actually change and pick up a different graphic. And if you do that, it's more likely going to be the same dimensions and uh, probably have some items corrected in it, maybe some artifacts or some additional images you wanted to put inside the graphic image. Now we imported a compressed graphic format, that's GIF. We can learn about that separately. But one of the things we can do is change the compression inside of Flash. Now I don't recommend you do this. I'd recommend you create the compression for flat graphics inside of a graphics tool such as Fireworks or Photoshop. However, you can have some changes to it. For example, we can go to Photoshop, or I'm sorry, uh, JPEG uh, compression, and we can use some of the settings for a JPEG compression here. And when we do that, then we can hit the test button, and you can see the effects of that particular change as you play with it. GIF was one of the first formats for the web pages on the internet. It's a 256 color format. It uses a palette to map the 256 colors to all the pixels that are in the image. It has a very high compression ratio and uh, it has a limited color and uh, quite a bit of quality loss depending on how many colors you have. 
And then we'll close this and we'll put this graphic image on the stage. I'm going to drag it from the library to the stage. And then I'm going to drag it off the stage. And actually the off stage area will show you whether you have some transparent backgrounds in the imported graphic image. This one has a transparent background. That's a feature of GIF formats that can be done when you actually compress them and export them into this format. Now let's take a look at the properties of an instance of a graphic asset. Again, the graphic asset is a symbol in the library and then we can have multiple instances of it. And if you take a look at the properties, you can see there's very limited property items that we can change for a bitmap graphic. We can do the uh, height and the size and the width, and what we'll do is we'll use the free transform tool, we'll use the shortcut key Q, and I'll just do a few things here just to show you what we can do. We can skew it, we can resize it. You'll notice that as we do, we get a pixelation to the graphic image. I'll constrain the resize, and you can see on the roof the various uh, pixels starting to show up and I'll go real small and the smaller we get we get some degradation to the actual graphic image and that's the difference between bitmaps and vectors. Vectors are drawn as you do the resizing flash redraws them bitmaps are actually pixels in an array rows and columns and we can put multiple instances of these bitmap graphics on the stage. We'll go over here to the library and we'll grab another copy. We'll put them all in the same layer here just to show you. We can do this. And I'm going to go back to properties just one more time. And I want you to note that there is no instance name for bitmap graphics. So that means we cannot address it through action scripting. And again, we could rotate them. And as we've done before, we can skew them or zoom in or zoom out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, free transform back to normal. We'll go up here to modify, transform, and we call use this choice called remove transform. And it reverts back to the original uh, symbol that was in the library. So I'll just delete this one, and uh, this is our completed example uh, that we intended to do. Well, you see, we have more to do to create that animated version that you see here on the right that contains our house GIF file. GIF is a basic web graphic format, and you should find a lot of GIF files on the Internet to use in your Flash movies.